Hi guys, so first I'm going in with this transition shade from the Morphe 35OM palette. This is just a nice shade to use as a transition so everything can look nice and blended. Um, so I'm just working that into the crease of my eye and going upwards using circular motions. I'm using a nice fluffy blending brush for this just so everything looks nice and blended. Um, please excuse my voice because I am very sick right now so like that's why I sound disgusting. So yeah I'm just working that into the crease mainly on my outer V and then just working it in to my eye so like my eye doesn't look weird because I want the outer part of my eye to look very lifted so that's where I'm focusing most of the product. So after I work that transition shade into my crease and like all over my eye basically I'm going to take this reddish brown cranberry shade from the Morphe 35OM palette and I'm going to take that on the same fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to work that into the outer V of my eye and this is going to act as a transition also for the darker color that I'm going to put on over it. So I'm just going to work that into the outer V on both of my eyes. Then I'll start slowly building up that same color. Then after that, I'm going to take this dark brown color from the same palette on a smaller blending brush. And I'm just going to like slowly circle that into the outer corner of my eyes. And then after that, I'm going to go over that with the same fluffy blending brush just to make sure everything's nice and blended out. So then I'm going to take some of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on a small concealer brush and I'm going to carve out about half of my crease with this. This is a full coverage concealer so it's really going to carve out a cut crease that you want. I think this method is amazing especially if you're new into cut creases and it just allows you to be very messy and you can just go right in with the concealer and clean it up and get a cut crease. So this is just going to act as like a little base for the shadow that I'm going to put on top of it. And it's really going to allow me to get the shape that I want. So once I get the shape that I want, I'm going to do it on the other eye and then I'm going to put the shadow on top of it. So after I have my crease carved out with the concealer, I'm just going to take the light pink eyeshadow from the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1 with a eyeshadow packing brush and I'm just gonna go over the wet concealer with that and I'm gonna pack it on to the wet concealer. This is going to make it stick very nicely because obviously the wet concealer is going to make the powder stick to it. Um, just make sure when you're doing this method to tap off any excess from your brush because if you have a lot of extra product on the brush, it's all going to stick onto the lid and make it look really clumpy. So after I have all the shadow packed onto my lid, I'm going to take that same dark brown shadow from the Morphe 35OM palette and use that fluffy blending brush that we used before. And I'm going to blend that into the outer V of my eye. This is going to blend with the concealer nicely so there's no harsh lines where the concealer meets the eyeshadow on my lid. So after I have the dark brown color really blended into my outer V, I'm going to take a clean br blending brush on the outsides of that color and just make sure everything is blended. Then I'm going to take my Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D in the shade Trooper and just line my lids. I'm not going to do any fancy wing. This is just going to make the lashes that I'm going to put on look a lot more natural, I guess, so you can't see the lash band. So after that, I'm just going to put lashes on. And yes, I am aware that my left eye on the outer V, it's not very, like, blended well. Like, I fixed it after I recorded, but yeah, I didn't do it in the video. So then I'm taking this NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the shade Downtown Beauty, and I'm just going to apply that onto my lips. And then after that, I am finished with this look, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, please comment down below, like, what else you want to see from me on my YouTube channel. And, yeah, thank you for watching.